Hi, welcome back to Zach of All Trades. I'm Zach, and today I want to show you how to solder using your standard everyday garden variety disposable lighter. This is so cool. I don't know about you, but as a kid, I was always a big fan of the TV show MacGyver. You know, the show I'm talking about where he's fixing stuff and making stuff and getting out of tough spots using paper clips and bubble gum and the interior guts of a ballpoint pen. That was one of the things that entered my mind during my formative years that made me believe that you can fix anything with almost anything. I love that. And so today, as I was reading through the comments on an AVE video, someone called Wobbly Boost pointed out that you can solder with a Bic lighter. I had to figure out if it was accurate, if you could do it, how to do it. You can. Let me show you what I figured out. Start off with a piece of heavy copper wire. It's fairly easy to find in some Romex. If you don't have Romex or heavy copper wire, I will show you momentarily that it also works with a coat hanger. Wrap the wire around your lighter several times. When you have about an inch and a half or two inches left, bend it over like so. Now I have this upside down, but it doesn't matter because I can flip the lighter over and now I have it just where I need it. It's okay, in fact, I would encourage, at least on the first wrap, to leave a little bit of a gap between the wire and the lighter because this is going to heat up and you wanna leave a little bit of space in there. So now you have this little probe. Look at this. Uh, adjust your lighter within the coiled wire so that the flame is a little bit back from the tip. That way you're not melting the insulation of your wire while you're trying to do this. Let it heat up for a moment, and after a bit of heating, it will melt the solder so that you can solder with this thing. Do be careful because the first coil and a half, a couple of coils, depending on how long you leave it going, is gonna heat up, so you'll burn your thumb if you're not careful. And now the same setup, only using a coat hanger. The coat hanger is not quite as easy to work with. It doesn't wrap around the lighter quite as easy. And it takes a little bit longer, a little bit more heating before the wire will take enough heat to melt the solder. But other than that, it works just the same. Now I recognize that the circumstances in which you're gonna have a lighter, a copper wire, and some solder on hand while you're trying to fix something on the side of the road in the rain, those circumstances are gonna be few and far between. But if you're trying to fix a tractor far enough away from the house that you can't reach it with an extension cord and a soldering iron, and maybe you don't have a flame powered, a proper flame powered soldering iron, something like this will come in really handy. I'm really glad to have this in my bag of tricks. I hope that you enjoyed it. Take care. We'll see you next time.